Hello, in this section we're going to be talking about assessment administration in Aware New Navigation. You're going to learn how to navigate to administer online tests and identify where to find more support. This is actually the easiest process within Aware New Navigation. Once you click on the Administer section within the Navigation pane, it's basically the exact same process as what you're used to in Old Aware. Just a hot tip, you can use the search bar to find the exact test name a little bit more quickly, especially when you have, at this time of the year, when you have a long list of, a, of open and available assessments. You can also use the filters over on the right to filter by test type. Once you're there, you, once you find the assessment, you click online test proctoring to enable the test and then you continue to administer the assessment. Another feature of AWARE that's not new to new navigation but is important for you to know about is proctoring a test. You click proctor if you have this option. Usually instructional coaches, principals, targeted support teachers, those type of teachers usually have proctoring a test. If you do not have it, of course, you can always reach out to Panda at neisd.net. To use Proctor, you click Proctor and then you find the teacher on your campus. You can search for them or scroll down and find their name. Once you click there, it takes you into that teacher's uh, available online tests. You find that uh, test and then you click Enable Online Testing and basically proceed just like the teacher of record. There's a very serious pro to, the, to using proctoring of tests. This is great to start and stop online testing for any teacher. Let's say a teacher is out, you know, due to illness or some other unforeseen situation and you want to go ahead and keep and do um, and continue testing students uh, even though that teacher is out for the day. Uh, somebody with proctoring tests can use this option and start and stop that online test for the teacher. However, there are quite a few limitations that you need to know about. One of those limitations is you cannot review or edit online supports for students for that test. Basically, whatever either the teacher already previously enabled or whatever was automatically pulled from the student's profile as their default supports is what they've got. You cannot review or edit those supports as a proctor. Another limitation is if there are constructive response questions, you cannot grade it. Only the roster teacher in AWARE can grade those constructive response questions. So this really isn't a good long-term solution for vacancies or uh, FMLA, long-term subs, those kind of things. You want to reach out to Panda at neisd.net to discuss um, options in case you have that kind of situation. Another limitation is as a proctor, you cannot reopen a test for a student. So let's say a student submits a test too early or you want them to try again, you cannot reopen it. Only the teacher of record has that ability. If you have more questions about administering tests in AWARE, there is another optional opportunity for professional development. You can go back to the launch pad, open up our AWARE folder, and also click the AWARE assessments button that will take you to our site for all things AWARE assessments. Once you're on the AWARE assessment page, you'll click administering assessments in order to find more videos about administering online tests, scoring those constructive response questions, test proctoring, troubleshooting logins, setting default supports, and lots more. You might also be interested in the student experience in English section. You can watch videos about to better understand how students take and experience online testing so you can better prepare them to demonstrate their learning in an online environment. The Spanish student ex experience videos are not available at this time, but they are something that we are hoping to work on soon.